Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Stephanie's Lyrelin. I'm Stephanie. And welcome to another weekly reading vlog. I haven't done one of these in quite a while, but I've been absolutely burning my way through books recently. So I wanted to start a weekly reading vlog and today is Monday. So I thought today is the perfect day to start. I haven't started reading yet today, but my current read is The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. And I only started yesterday because I only got it yesterday and I'm already halfway through. So... It's going good. I did check on my story graph to see if I'd read this before because when I was reading it, I felt like it was familiar. And I realized that I actually DNF'd this book before. Now, I think I just DNF'd it at the time because it was, I think I was in a reading slump and it wasn't really capturing my attention. But right now I'm really enjoying it. And it's a fun little romance. Romance has kind of been my thing this month. And yeah, I'm really excited to keep going and finish it. Let me just quickly explain what it's about. If you don't know, it's about these two best friends, Brie and Nathan. Brie is a ballet instructor and Nathan is a really famous NFL player and they're best friends and one night Brie gets really drunk and accidentally tells a reporter that she's in love with Nathan in not so many words and then they have to essentially fake date in order to keep up the image of Nathan's career and stuff, but also to earn money through a contract, which Brie also needs. So it's really interesting because the two besties are literally in love with each other and they're fake dating and neither one knows that the other's in love with, in love with each other. So it's great. We love a good, fun little romance. Anyways, I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you all if I have another update with this. Hi besties, it's six o'clock now and I just finished The Cheat Sheet, The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. That's really weird to say. I rated it three stars. It was a really fun romance. It was really sweet and cute and I liked the way it ended. It was lovely. It did have some like kind of cringy moments in it, but I feel like every romance book has that. Um, but yeah, it was really fun and I liked the way it ended, like I said, and there was an extra chapter in this. So that was fun and a Q&A with the author. I don't really have much else to say about it, to be honest, but I feel like I'm after reading so many romance books this month already. I read The Hating Game recently, which I absolutely adored and I can't wait to talk about it in my wrap up. And I also read My Killer Romance. Didn't really enjoy that one that much, but I also thought it was okay you know I want to talk about that one too and I read a few others but I cannot remember at this moment in time I also recently got the first book in the Bridgerton series I think it's the first book anyways it follows the first season of the Bridgerton series on Netflix so I'm really excited to read that I don't know if I'll read that next I'm not really sure because I do have my Kindle and I've been reading a good few romance books like I said and I've been reading them kind of back to back. So I did pick up Foul Lady Fortune off my shelves because I reorganized my bookshelves. I don't know if you can see from here really, but um, they look really cool. Um, but I can show you that later in the vlog. But I did pick this back up off my shelves because I'm working on like a little project thing. And I feel like this is great inspiration for that and I want to make some notes but also I just want to annotate it as well because I love this book and I'm so excited about it and I think the second one's out but I, I haven't read, read this like for the first time this year so maybe it's a bit too early to start rereading it but also I think it's going to give me more inspo for the project I'm working on so I don't know we shall see okay I'm gonna shut up talking now and figure out what else I'm gonna read because I I don't know I feel like I want to read a bunch of things but I don't read multiple books at a time. I tried to do that once, like tried to read one on my Kindle and one physically and thought that would work. It doesn't work for me. I can't do it. I just get sucked into one over the other or I get bored of one and then I DNF it and I don't want to DNF books. So yeah, anyways, gonna go. Talk to you all in a bit. Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday today and I kind of accidentally stayed up until almost half two in the morning last night reading what book 
was Stephanie reading? May you ask? Um, that is a book that we will get to in a minute. Um, because I don't know what it came over me last night, but I did stay up until like half two in the morning reading a book that I had started a couple of hours earlier and now I am almost 50% of the way through. I have a problem. Anyway, yesterday after I left you, I was saying I think that I wasn't sure what I was going to read but that I wanted to maybe pick up Foul Lady Fortune by Chloe Gong and I did do that but I picked it up for all of like five minutes and I'm on page six and I have nothing annotated so far because like I said, I'm reading this, I'm rereading this and I'm rereading it because I want some inspo for a project I'm working on. Last night, I also picked up a book on my Kindle, like I mentioned. And first off, I'm gonna say, we're gonna ignore the cover. There was a cooler cover that would have been way better for the publisher to use. It had like a man's knuckles and like all his rings and it looked so much better, way cooler, fit the vibe. But of course they put a, a man on the cover because like when do they not i picked up a mafia romance book <laughs> last night okay okay let me let me just give a brief expl explanation so last night i watched a movie on amazon prime that i've been seeing on my instagram everywhere and it's called culpa mia or it's all my fault or my fault or something it's in spanish but i watched it with subtitles obviously because i cannot speak spanish and it was, it was good. But it also was very much like a Wattpad book. It kind of felt like a little bit. So when I was watching it, all I could kept thinking was, this would be such a good romance book. Like if it was written, it would be so much better and it would be way less kind of cringy. Cause like, it wasn't really cringy, but like there was stuff in it that I was just like, ick, like, please stop. But some of it was good and the concept of it was really good. So I thought that it would be a great book. And then I was like, oh my God, why don't I just read like a dark romance book? Because that's kind of the vibes of the movie. So I was scouring my bookstagram and I re-downloaded um, TikTok as well <laughs> because I made a book talk account. So if you want to follow that, it's just stephanies.lowerlin, I think. So I picked up this book because I saw it on book talk and it was supposed to be like addicting by chapter nine that's what the person in the tiktok said so i picked it up it was called ruthless creatures by jt geisinger and it's a mafia romance book like i said but it actually is kind of interesting like the plot is good the dialogue is not cringy like it's what you would expect from a mafia romance but it's not like oh my god i actually can't even read this i'm gonna get sick it's not cringy the smut is kind of a bit over the top but like it's a mafia romance like it's going to be like that that's that's what I knew going into it and the tension between the two characters is so good and it's just like oh my god there's nothing like a mafia romance like this man is dangerous and I love it <laughs> um I do not like the cover though I'm very annoyed with the cover but I think I'm like almost 50% of the way through um, I don't even know how to explain it to be honest. Oh, I'm 45% of the way through. So I'm on chapter 19. Basically, it's about this girl who, or well, not this girl. She's a woman. She is a woman. She's like in her 30s. Um, This woman who was engaged to be married and five years ago, the day of her rehearsal dinner for her marriage, for her wedding, her husband went missing and it's five years later now and still nobody's found him and in this like state wherever in America um after five years of someone being missing they're declared dead even without a body so that is what has happened and the night of the anniversary of the either wedding or the day before the wedding can't remember she obviously gets shit face drunk like she does every year and drowns her sorrows and ends up meeting this brooding man who's very scary but also very gorgeous looking and she finds out that he is her neighbor and then <laughs> somehow they meet up again and he's basically telling her all this stuff about how dangerous he is whatever 
and she just can't get enough of him. And it turns out that he's this really, really bad person. And obviously, like, it is a mafia romance. So we find out that he is in the mafia and very high up in the mafia and quite scary. But also his main reason why he was in the place where female main character lives is because he was supposed to be collecting a debt for the mafia for some reason. And I think she's supposed to be the debt, but he and he was supposed to kill her or something but like obviously he's kind of like obsessed with her so anyways I've given you like way too much information about this one book I'm gonna just keep reading it at night time because like I feel like if I read it during the day I'm going to want to dnf it because I have this problem where when I start dark romances I like it for as soon as I'm reading it and I get really into it and then I get bored of it or like find it cringe because I either have to read it all in one sitting or else I have to read it in kind of increments. That doesn't even make sense. That's like extremely contradictive, but whatever. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking. I'm sweating and I've been talking for literally seven minutes. What's going on? But yeah, I have no plans for today other than to work on my little project and read Foul Lady Fortune, I think. I'm so excited to get back into that book because it's just so good. Like there's nothing like Chloe Gong's writing and Chloe Gong's characters. Like I want to be her when I grow up. I love her books. So good. And I can't wait to annotate it as well. So excited. But I'm going to go now because I'm just talking for the sake of talking. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Wednesday today and I have some reading updates. So last night I wasn't really smart again and I did stay up quite late and I finished Ruthless Creatures by JT Geisinger and I did like the ending, I won't lie. I thought it was a good wrap up to the story. It was a little rushed, like just teeny weeny bit and the plot elements and the plot arc up until then, up until maybe the 80% mark, it started getting a bit kind of like there was some plot holes a little bit and it was very much convenient at that point in time of the book. But like I said, it's a mafia romance and that was to be expected. But I had such a fun time. I rated it three stars, I think. Um, It was a solid romance book and I think it's the best mafia romance book I've ever read. Like I was saying earlier, any mafia romance book that I've ever tried to read I usually DNF because it's either too cringy or else I just get so bored up towards the halfway point that I'm just like okay it's the same thing happening over and over again like there's no plot it's literally not interesting but this plot was actually really good and I thought that there was a good arc and development in the relationship it wasn't just insta love and that was it and they were together whatever I thought it was a bit more developed and the fact that he is the leader of the mafia or like a part of the Ru Russian mafia um, it wasn't like glossed over and like it kept coming up that this man is extremely dangerous and it wasn't just something that was appealing it was something that was you know clearly a factor to be thought about in this woman's decision of getting into this relationship with him if that makes sense anyways it was solid it was good and my Kindle is just the best thing ever. Like I read so quickly on it. I love it. Anyways, we're not going to have a rant about that. I also did make some progress in, that is upside down, in Fell Lady Fortune. I obviously have the dust jacket off right now because I do not read with my dust jacket on because that's so annoying. I got to page 72. I actually stopped mid chapter, which I usually don't do, but I have been annotating it. I hope you can kind of see that. But this book is just great. And I love Chloe Gong. And like, I'm already so invested 70 pages in. I'm just so invested in the characters. Obviously I know the characters already and I love them all, but I just remember back to when I first read this book for the first time, literally like two months ago. <laughs> and I just love Chloe Gong's characters and how she writes them and everything is wonderful. I will say though, it was the same in These Violent Delights. I don't think I'm smart enough to pay attention long enough to all the plot points in this. Like all the stuff, all the political information that we're being told about and all the different political groups in this 
place of and time like obviously i know it's based on real events and real historical things that happened and political history but that's not my strong suit and it's hard to focus on that when i'm so focused on the ships and the characters that i love to be quite honest like i'm here for the vibes i wish i could appreciate it more but i think after i've reread it i'll understand those things a bit better um hopefully and also same with like these violent delights and our violent ends the other series by chloe gong which this series is based off of i think as well on a reread of those books i'll understand them better i just think from a first read i get too caught up in all the romance stuff and i'm like ooh, exciting you know um i can't multitask anyway I don't really have any other updates for this vlog. I haven't had any time to read today at all. I've been gone for the whole day because I had a driving lesson this morning and then I've just been in town the rest of the day. So my plan is to continue reading this and annotating it. I also want to work on my project a little bit and then, I don't know, I probably will pick up something on my Kindle just because I feel like I'm reading this for educational purposes. So I want something fun that I can kind of just not pay attention to. But like also pay attention to you know what i mean i have plenty of books on my shelves that i could pick up to be honest but knowing me i'll probably just pick up something on my kindle again because it's just so convenient it's so easy i can just tip tap it's great although it is going dead so anyways i'm gonna stop talking and i'll come back whenever i actually read a book <laughs> Hi besties, it's Thursday and it's almost seven o'clock and I have some reading updates. I can't even remember the last time I was talking to you to be honest. I think maybe I finished a book, a book on my Kindle. Um, yeah, I, I definitely did. And I don't think I told you what I started reading next because I hadn't decided. But I scoured TikTok and I figured out what to read next. I'm going to talk about that in a minute because it's on my Kindle. But I do have some updates for Foul Lady Fortune. I've been still annotating it loads, which is great. And I'm having such a fun time. I love this book. I love Chloe Gong. Like, I love every single character in it. There's not one character that I don't like. I just think they're all so interesting and fun and fascinating. And there's literally so many different... Well, I say so many different relationships. There's like two ongoing relationships. And same with um, the way these violent delights were as well. If you've read those, you would know. I just love the fact that Chloe Gong is able to write characters that I am so invested in. Like, I'm so invested in all the POVs in this. It's wonderful. It's actually just great. Like, oh my God. Anyways, anyways. I'm on page 180, which is chapter 17 and it's just it's just great like I actually don't have anything else to say other than if you haven't read this book you need to read it and Chloe Gong is one of my favorite authors I did I think I showed you a clip last night of the playlist at the start of this book so also do you like my Kindle case I added stickers they're not stickers they're pieces of paper that I've printed out because I am too stingy to buy stickers on Redbubble because as much as I love them and they're so cool and they're probably really good quality I get bored of things so easy, so I'd want to change them every two weeks. And I don't have the funds to be buying new stickers all the time. Anyways, it's not important. But late last night, I was looking up on my TikTok books to read. And I I think you can probably guess I'm kind of in the dark romance vibe at the minute. Like, that's what I wanted to read. And I saw one TikToker, I can't remember where her name is, but she was literally screaming and crying about this book. And she said it was so good. It is literally like almost 600 pages long for a dark romance. Like that's a bit much. I just think romance books do not need to be that long. But anyway, I decided to pick it up. And that is The Ritual by Chantelle Tessier. It's a dark college romance. Now, obviously earlier in this vlog, I was reading a mafia romance. And, you know, that is a dark romance. And I'm not one to usually read dark romance books. I've only read a few, I think. And even at that, I haven't finished them. Like the one that's coming to my head right now is Den of Vipers. I didn't actually even finish that. And the only other one that I've finished is the one that I've read in this vlog. So I decided to pick this up. I was a little bit apprehensive, but I was like, oh, might be good. 
Um, I'm 23% of the way in. It's interesting. It's interesting. So basically, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain the concept of this book. Like it's, it's so wild, but it's kind of like a cult vibe and kind of, it is a cult. This man on the cover, his name is Riot and he is a part of this group, which is essentially a cult called the Lords. And basically they're just a bunch of dangerous, horrible men who have like way too much power and way too much money. And it's just a way to kind of, if you're in this group, you're one of the most powerful men on earth essentially kind of and you have all this money and like essentially no rules apply but you keep your spot in this group through murdering people and through you know assassinating people that's what I've gauged from the 23% that I've read and it's just a bit awful and misogynistic and very not with the times but basically all of these lords when they're when they get to the status of Lord or something, and when you're in your senior year, you're like at the last level of becoming a Lord. And basically as a reward, you get uh, the chosen one or something, or oh, I don't even know how they um refer to it. I can't even remember. But basically there's this one girl who is yours. You own her and that's just the way it is. Like you can make her do whatever you want you own her, she's your property. So misogynistic and not feminist at all, but we're going to ignore that for the sake of the book. It's a dark romance. I knew that going into it. Anyway, yeah, essentially right now, all that we figured out is that he's chosen, his chosen one, his girl, but she, he has been told to choose her and he kind of didn't really have a choice, but like also he kind of doesn't care because you know he's the one in power it's such a hard book to explain to be honest like I actually couldn't even tell you what's going on and it's just way darker than I thought it would be like it's intense but I'm not gonna lie I'm having fun it's great but I'm also very concerned because the events that I've witnessed and read about in the first 23% of the novel I don't know how much worse it can get. And in the TikTok, the girl was like, she was sobbing. She was like, oh my God, you have fun. It's this and this and that. And then she was like, but the end crushes you and something about the epilogue. And I think there's two epilogues because I looked at the contents at the start and there was two epilogues. So even more concerned. But I mean, I I do love when a book emotionally destroys me. So we're going to just ignore the misogyny and kind of abuse and just just keep reading because it's a fun time at the minute anyway I feel like I've spoken for so long and I don't want to keep um talking about that book because I don't want to have to <laughs> figure out what I'm actually reading I just want to be blissful blissfully ignorant anyway um they're the stuff I'm reading right now and I've honestly done nothing really with the rest of my day I've been doing some work on my project but other than that not a thing and it's Thursday, so I'll probably close up this vlog tomorrow, I think. I'm not really sure yet. Possibly. It depends. If I finish one of these books by tomorrow, close up the vlog. If not, I might wait till the weekend but and finish it then, but I don't know. Anyways, I'll talk to you all when I have another update and hopefully know what's actually going on in this book. <laughs>
and I want to give an update before I do finish it. But also I spent today reading mostly Foul Lady Fortune and I'm on page 232 now. <laughs> Don't really have much other thoughts than what I said earlier. Still obsessed with this book, still obsessed with all the characters. I just love the entire thing. The plot is also very interesting. I have made a conscious decision to pay more attention to the plot this time I time around when I'm reading it because like I mentioned earlier I get a bit too caught up and distracted with the romance and I'm just not able to multitask and I get distracted so yeah I love it nothing else to say about it it's wonderful this book however I have a little bit to say about it so I can't remember where I was in the story when I last spoke to you. I think I had just started it the night before and I was maybe like 20% of the way through or something like that. That could be totally wrong. I don't know. But right now I'm 60% of the way through. I read a lot of it last night and <laughs> I honestly don't even know what to say. Um, It has definitely escalated quite a bit. There is a lot happening in this and it's very, I had a word earlier to describe it and I can't remember it now, but it's just really intense. Like it is heavy on the dark romance and I knew that going into it, but I think because I haven't properly read actual dark romance books before, like I've mentioned multiple times in this vlog. So I don't think I really understood the scope of it. And a lot of the stuff in this is like, it's really messed up. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it is messed up. Now, I'm not hating on anyone who likes this book. Like, everyone has their own taste. I do think it's a fun time. Like, I can 100% get that. And I am, like, kind of obsessed with it. Like, I really want to know what happens next and stuff like that. But in saying that, certain scenes have made me a little uncomfortable and a little, like, whoa. I was recording, like, a time lapse earlier and something happened and I was just like, oh my god <laughs> i only have a little less than half of it left and i'm scared because it has upped upped its stakes quite a bit i'm not sure as well how much worse it can get because like i was saying in the tiktok the person in the tiktok was obsessed with this book and was saying how at the very start they were obsessed with it and then they started crying because it was so good. It was so funny, all this kind of stuff. And then at the very end, they were sobbing because of the way it ended. And the epilogue as well, like I've heard that it's supposed to be... I don't even know what it's supposed to be. I just know that it's something. And I'm scared. Like I want to read what that is and I want to finish it. I'm after getting 60% of the way through. I need to know what everyone's talking about. I'm going to go and I'm gonna keep reading Fell Lady Fortune until I get into bed and then when I get into bed I'm gonna read this. I'm hoping to finish it tonight. That's probably a bad idea because I'll stay up really late if I try to finish it tonight so maybe I shouldn't do that but I would like to finish it tonight but it does get a bit intense when you're just like reading it non-stop like for me it's just a bit much. I get a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I'll let you all know in the morning what I decide to do. I'm gonna go now. Hey besties, it's Sunday, it's almost four o'clock and I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. And I'm gonna be a little hypocritical and entirely contradict what I said in the last clip because I have decided that I'm gonna DNF the ritual. I know I said that I was 60% of the way through and I'm actually at 78% now, so I really could finish it if I tried, but I'm just not in the mood for it anymore. I have gone off my dark romance buzz. I don't want it anymore. I'm not in the mood. It's every time I read it, it's just making me uncomfortable. So I just need to stop. And that's not really anything to say that the book is bad. It's just not my taste. And I knew it wasn't really going to be my taste going into it. I did enjoy it for some parts. Like I got 78% of the way through it. Like obviously I did like it to a certain extent, but dark romance just isn't really my genre I don't think and I just need to stick to my silly little cozy fancy reads or um cutesy cutesy romance books that I like or my you know really depressing books but not this 
this dark romance. I, I, it's it's not my thing. But honestly, slay to anyone who does read these books and likes them because I know there's a bunch of books in this genre. Like it's a very niche genre, but there's so many books in it, and I know that people really love them and love to talk about them. Honestly, you do you. I love that for you. Also have a little update for Fair Lady Fortune. I did want to end up this vlog with me finishing this book, but I was reading it there a few minutes ago and I was kind of like not really into it. Not that I wasn't into it because I love this book, obviously, but I didn't really want to read it at that point. I feel like I want to pick up a another fantasy book on my Kindle. Um, I'm not going to include that in this vlog now. I'll probably talk about it in my next vlog because I might do another weekly vlog for next week. But yeah, I just, I don't want to have to like kind of skim over some parts because like I said earlier in this vlog, I am reading this for like educational purposes and it's helping me for my project. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep slowly reading this. I'll probably finish it sometime tomorrow or maybe even later this evening. In a, a mixed reading week, I'm trying to remember what I even read at the start of this week. It's so bad because I've been burning through so many books, it's hard to remember. I know I did read one on my Kindle, The Other Dark Romance. Do I remember what I rated that? No. But I did rate it and if you want to see all my ratings and my small little reviews, I follow me on Storygraph. It's just Stephanie's Laralyn on Storygraph. And also I'll mention them in my monthly wrap up, of course. And then I think I definitely read The Cheat Sheet as well. I really enjoyed that. That was a really fun time. Thank you so, so much for watching this video if you've watched it all the way to now. And if you want to follow me on BookTok, you definitely should. My account is just Stephanie's Laralyn. I'm pretty sure when I'm editing this, I'll put it on properly and you'll know. But yeah, I've been ha having so much fun filming those as well. I'm gonna stop talking now because this vlog is really, really long. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.